Well, was finally speaking to you after a positive result. What did you make of today's game? Yeah, I think it's been a while since I actually spoke after a, a good game. I usually you get the draws and losses on now here, but uh, no, I think I was frustrated in the first half. Didn't really show what we were about. Um, I think we addressed it in the half time, and yeah, we came out in the second half and played much better. Another goal for you this season, and I think it's your first goal in the league, uh, league at home. It must be nice to get a goal at Stadium MK. Yeah, it has me first, and yeah, that's why I got really excited. I need to work on the celebration. <laughs> but look, it was, all, it, was, it was the most it was the important goal. You know, we won the game, three points, and just look forward to the next one. Sort of found yourself dribbling into the box, and I suppose once you're there, you, you carry on that run and become an option. Yeah, well, um, Troy, Troy made a good run when I got there. And, he cut it back for me, which was which was good. Uh, he done really well today, Troy. So, yeah, I just found myself in there, and the ball just lands me, and luckily I went in. You mentioned Troy there. He covered every blade of grass today up front, and then shifted out to the wing. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, he's been like that the past couple of games. To be fair, you know, he, he does a lot of uh, a lot of running for the team, a lot of pressing, and it goes unnoticed sometimes. But now he's uh, he's been brilliant the past past few weeks. I suppose the only frustration from your part today is Lincoln taking the lead and reducing that clean sheet. Yeah, like I said, first half we didn't do ourselves any justice, and we addressed in the second half. Obviously, I'm a defender, so all of us want all us defenders want clean sheets. But most important thing is three points at the end of the day. I suppose the reaction from Doncaster after losing that game is three wins in a row. You and the gaffer can't really ask for much more. No, it's what, it's what we're here. You know, we want to push on. We want to win every game. We go out to win every other game. And look, it's a tough month this month. We have a lot of travelling to do, big teams to play. And we'll just take one game at a time to see if we can keep this one going. You mentioned a lot of travelling, Fleetwood away, probably one of the longest on a Tuesday night. What are you expecting from that sort of game? Yeah, it's going to be a long trip up, but look, we'd, like I said, we'll go up to try and win the game. We'll play our style, hopefully. The away fans have been brilliant this season, so hopefully they'll be behind us as well. So I'm expecting a hard game, but let's hope we bring home three points. You look at the bench today and there's depth all over it. I suppose that's a real sign for those that are on the pitch that they need to put in a performance to keep their shirt. Definitely, yeah, there's competition in the squad now, you know, we had a good January, January transfer window, we lost a few, but we brought in really good talents, um, we've got to start seeing them hopefully come the next few games, training's been really good, it's been, like, competition is always healthy, and everybody knows that nothing's for granted, you can't take anything for granted really, you know, every short is up for the, for the take, and so we need to perform every week and keep your spot. I suppose keeping shirts also translate into sort of staying grounded and staying humble, third in the league, but nothing's decided in February. Next game. That's all we're thinking about. Um, table take up, take care of itself. We're just focusing on the next game. Three points, next game.